Bubba oh, Wallace. Wallace. And there were four cars right hold, behind hold him. Hold the break, hold the break, hold the break. Everybody getting by Three without incident. Coming. You're going to roll back down the hill. Oh, got two nice more coming. Fun. Looks like he got away with minimal damage to the right rear there. Those are strakes or whatever on the back of that diffuser, and they've actually added some that, that basically rivet on uh, some extensions on both sides, and I think it's come loose, obviously, from the left side, just barely hanging on is what you saw there on William Byers' car. Oh, he did get into the wall. Yeah. Man, that thing came around way early in the corner. The car looked like it. The right sides took off right on the seam between the top and next to top groove. Man, it just looked light to me, light on its feet from the time he turned off into the corner and pulled down on the wheel just the least little bit. It was out from underneath of him. Tiptoeing for sure. Yeah, it sure looks a lot different than uh, the cars looked a couple of years ago or last year, right? The, the wiggles would happen slower. And here it seems like when they get stepped out, it just it, it takes off really just fast. Just like you heard Kevin Harvick. That one just a sad thing just snapped and it was gone out from underneath of him. That reminds me back of the old car, Matt, like in 2006, being there with a handful of wheel flat on the floor. And what happened? <laughs> we broke what <laughs> broke traction, Jamie. And Bubba Wallace in the 23 just came on the radio and said, I just rolled off the throttle so gently and it just snapped around just like you guys said. But good news is he was able to drive it back into the pit so the guys can take a look at it. All four tires up. On, uh